Hello and welcome to another episode of this interview-based show called Amchi Legends, where uh, we 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 get to know people behind the hard work and effort that they have put in. And uh, this is one more episode we where we focus uh, on a, a very reputed medical professional. And with us uh, today on Amchi Legends is uh, Dr. Uday Antar. Uh, hello, Uday, ma'am. And uh, uh, welcome to the show, Amchi Legends. And uh, you've been having almost 25 plus years of uh, experience uh, in, in this field yeah. of uh, pediatric neurosurgery. Uh, and, you know, Thank especially you. you've been a Vardy boy and, and lots of people associate <laughs> more with Vardy and Bhatia Hospital. Uh, let but us know a lot, little more about your medical profession. What we know you are as a doctor. But we know that you know you 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 graduated or post graduated. Your MBBS was from TN Medical in Mumbai way back in 1985, right? And then for a short time you were also a lecturer in KM Pune, and then you you moved on to UK. So tell us a lot, a little more about that. Yeah, so uh, it was my good luck that I got admission to uh, the medical college very close to where I stay in Talmadge Wadi, and I spent 11 and a half years there too graduate into a neurosurgeon from Nair Hospital itself. Okay. So once you are a graduate, you know, your life actually begins after passing your last exam. Mm. <laughs> all that uh, excitement of having passed the last, actually all the, all the challenges start after you've got the degree in your hand. So that's how I decided that I should now get out and look at the other, you know, other institutes. So that's how I went to KEM. It okay. was a fantastic experience at KEM Hospital. And then when I was at KM, having attend, uh, we were attending conferences and things. I got uh, interested in going to London, uh, England rather, for further training. That's how I went to the UK with uh, multiple recommendations. And I spent uh, almost six, six and a half years in the United Kingdom. Okay. Training to be a pediatric neurosurgeon, actually. Okay. And when I came back, I was among one of the few, first few trained fully trained pediatric neurosurgeons. But Santosh, you will be a surprise. I was overqualified. I had no jobs. Oh, is it? Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, had, I had to start from scratch everything, even including and Bhatia Hospital was just next door. They wanted to develop neurosurgery. So I uh -huh. just took on the challenge and got into it. Okay. Put my head down. That's it. Interesting. Interesting to know that. You know, in, when you were in the UK, uh, I, I kind of hear we were kids and we heard about a story and that's a reality we know where you were actually, uh, you had to operate on uh, Prince William, right? Uh, let yes. us know more about that. We, we just know that there was this operation that you were a part of. That's right. So uh, one of the weekends I, um, in 91 July, I just finished my uh, day's work and then in the evening, I got a call saying uh, Prince William is being transferred to the hospital because he's had a, a golf stick injury on his mm -hmm. head. While mm -hmm. golf, one of you know, uh, he had a compound skull depressed fracture, on, you know, on the on the left forehead, and a little bone had gone in because a hit stick had hit him here. And that's how I got it. it was pure, uh, just because I was present there. Jo hazir to wazir, ase mm -hmm. <laughs> That's how I got it. Because I was the senior based on call on that weekend. Uh -huh. and then there was a big uh, people had to we had to get us we uh, uh, plastic surgery in we had prince in the night and he did well fortunately otherwise I would have been in deep trouble. Yeah, I can so imagine. That's how it was. That was yeah. the time when I met the royal family. You, you sorry, we, we lost them. you. So, you met the royal family. Really I did, and uh, the biggest thing was that I had to take the consent from Prince Charles himself. Okay. And he was so nice. I mean, in the sense, he said, "Look, I have come to the place in England which we are patron. They are patrons of that hospital, mm -hmm. and he said we trust you fully. You just go ahead and do what you have to, and tell me where I have to sign." So that's how humble he was. And that he just signed the consent without any trouble, you know. Okay. We don't find such what you call uh, humility yeah. in our own country. Yeah. So, and was Princess Diana also a part of this uh, whole, you know, did she also visit? That was, and 
yeah the, of course they commended my uh, and not only me but my senior colleague and uh, you know professor was also there mm-hmm. so our whole was given a big i have a letter signed by charles and diana himself wow uh, by together thanking me for having done that amazing absolutely Maybe fantastic part everyone who was in the team all of us got it got the same letter okay. that's how it was right. for 3 days i was i was in the news wow <laughs> <laughs> for all the right reasons so that's great uh, uday ma'am also we also know that you have been visiting gir forest not just as a tourist but a lot more beyond that right uh, operating lions and and that's something which really uh, is is an amazing uh, thing to know tell us more about that <laughs> Again, again, this was um, I was on a routine visit to Gir Forest, and I noticed that uh, these beautiful animals, some of them in the zoo at Junagad, had troubles even uh, standing up on their four legs. They were very, very ataxic in the sense, very difficult to manage them to walk. Mm-hmm. They were drooping saliva, so they had difficulty in swallowing. now these are symptoms which are which is called bulb palsy which means that some kind of a virus has hit their brain you know some something like a mad cow disease okay so i got concerned and i went inside and met the veterinarian who was there at that time dr saba para and uh, i discussed with him and i took a video of all these animals and i brought it back discussed with my neurology colleague they also agreed that there is some problem here and i was told that there was a lot of mortality among this among the lions at that time this was uh-huh. uh, way back 96 95 90, between 96 to 98 and so when we discussed about it the neurologist said that we need to biopsy their brain to confirm exactly what's wrong with them wow okay and wait this i conveyed this to the authorities and they, the government of gujarat was very helpful actually they gave us permission to go and biopsy their brain so that's how i got involved mm-hmm. in 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 that study which was we found out the reason we found the antidote for it and we changed everything from their diet to vitamins to everything okay so their endemic to separate their groups so currently now the lion population has doubled and they wow. come for marketing into the junagad market well it's so oh. large now okay <laughs> so Okay. Now we don't see that. I mean, mm-hmm. that has all been cleared. Okay. From from a medical profession per se, uh, Uday Ma'am, you have come across, I'm sure, lots and lots of uh, patients. Uh, you know, especially neurosurgery cases. What is the message for the youth? You, I'm sure you come across so many bike accidents and various kind of rash driven accidents. So, what is the message for the youth? Yeah. Uh, i think regarding bike accidents i i must say that you know bikes are ridden by the productive age group people so between the age of 16 to 35 40 they are always in a hurry yeah they have to take proper precautions one is use of helmets which the police poor fellows keep saying that please wear your helmet and drive and people try to avoid it actually it brings down head injuries to a large extent hmm yeah. even today 80 of head injuries admitted to any to our hospital especially 80% of them are bike accidents mm-hmm. but certainly intensity gone down because many of them now use helmets but yeah. in the past they never used to so i would insist that they must use helmet number one and wear a protective cover for their upper shoulder you know for mm-hmm. their joints and things so that even if they fall and hit somewhere yeah the major accidents are avoided Yeah, yeah. The other thing we see as a pediatric neurosurgeon, what I always feel when I sit in my clinic and uh, sort of go go through my daily uh, patients, uh, outpatients, we we see a lot of them in Wadi Children's Hospital, which is a specialty hospital. There, mm-hmm. we take normal for granted. I think we should not normalcy in a child is something. which we should respect and we uh, whatever you know for small things we start cribbing about our kids yeah that you know, 
and may, many of them say, "Oh, well, we got a girl, we got we got a boy, we got a dark skin girl." Yeah. Our this one, our our child is very dark, and our child has. One. Yeah. I I understand where you're coming but from. I grew up and you know many things which are. Really, if, if, if you see the really bad ones, it is disheartening sometimes. Big thing that your child is normal, be happy about it, and whatever it is, just accept it. Absolutely, absolutely. You've been a truly Talmaki Wadi boy, and I'm sure you have participated in tons and tons of Wadi programs, KSA programs. Any amazing memories to share yes. with us? Yes. Especially dramas. You no, know, I was uh, Shankar Nag, Shankar Nagargatti. who became famous as shankar nag and i were in the same class uh huh we uh, we were langodia the sense that um he, in at st xavier's high school we shared we we we, we were studying in the same uh, sort of not in the same division but in the same standard okay so we have acted together many of these plays and we continued that till intercollegiate and uh, when he won the uh, uh, at the intercollegiate level when he was um, he really started shining when he got in and i was at jahin and then topiola national medical college so you know in a medical college all also there's a huge amount there are actors there are singers there are so many other things so the i have acted with him in a in in a, the story called camp okay there is a drama called camp silence katta hai i don't know if you remember it was done in wadi silence mm-hmm. we used to have one act play one act play competitions uh, competitions in the wadi yeah during diwali yes our group would always get the first prize okay i have i have done uh, the role of maushi in one of them and was i got it? the okay. best actors award for that okay <laughs> i was the i was the maushi in that uh, in that play called silence khatla chalu hai okay <laughs> it's about it's a story about uh, lord krishna troubling radha radha is in, in in the market by you know breaking the matkas okay he is taken to court by one of them okay okay that's interesting yeah always i'm sure wadi gave always so gave a tremendous that. opportunity that, for that yeah 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 i have also acted in fantastic dramas uh, i think we having a bit of a wifi uh, break directed by vp narkarni okay um what was that you, you know it was then um, i have been i remember krishna karwar from talmati wadi mm-hmm. so many konkani plays we have done um i was the doctor in that uh, you know along with the, what's his name actually bipin was the hero in that uh huh i forget the name that because myself all of us have done lot of plays i mean i n n number of them okay. my last one was golmal yeah Bipin. the very recent yes now the yeah, new the version the recent one the first the first two the first two versions were done by uday mangikar and me okay when the version 3 came I said no. The younger crowd should take over. Come on, now we are. Absolutely. We can't act as heroes now. I should. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm sure it was a <laughs> so, great inspiration, though. Yeah, yeah. So that's how the younger. Yeah, they have done a commendable job with the. It's a beautiful play to watch. Yeah, absolutely. Your your future plans. Uh, yeah, I know you I moved to Thane, uh, and I understand it's for a hospital project that's been something yeah. that you've been a part of. Tell us about it. That's right. My, so i'm physically in thana my heart is still in talmati wadi that will never ever it will go never move away from that yes it happens to all of us <laughs> yeah i'm sure it's the same with you right yeah <laughs> is it the same with you absolutely <laughs> absolutely i'm more active on the wadi katta yeah. you know <laughs> whatsapp than any other <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> That's right. So, uh, yes, I'm here because uh, after the best company setting up a modern state of art children's specialty hospital. Mm -hmm. It's on the same lines of the hospital that I worked in uh, UK, the Great Ormond Street Children's, which was uh, which is one of the leading hospitals in the world, and the sick kids sick kids in Toronto. Okay. So we have we have actually signed to uh, for their help, and uh, they're going to be uh, very close. working with us in on this project everything is set up we are doing the interiors and things we should be up and going by end of this year okay. it will be one of the topmost hospitals on this side of the earth okay okay very good to know that also uh, paritnya and chaya a, a senior citizens old age home that you've been working on and very very much involved yeah. tell us a lot more about well, that well that that's our <laughs> that. so uh, paritnya and chaya is uh, you know it, it is uh, my dedication to my own community and you know i don't know if you know my growing up here in tamakewadi was i lost my father very early in life mm -hmm. when i was just 5 years old mm. but i i grew up in tamakewadi with the help of the community yeah and i can never forget it yeah it is that it's my returning back to where i you know returning back to the community all that that, that i owe them so okay. the time i leave this world i, I don't have any debt on me i i have to return it back that's mm -hmm. how i said i should look after my elders or those who require to be looked after really there are so many older people in our community and uh, elsewhere here and there who require to be loved and cared for in yeah. that term, you know final years yeah and many a times they find it very difficult because yeah. they are some of them their children are abroad they have nobody some of them are actually they don't have kids they, there's nobody to look after them so we are we have i have started it along with our group called parijnan parivar mm -hmm. which we want to dedicate to these people who actually require to be looked after mm -hmm. so though that there, there are it, it's a model which is based on self reliance as well as uh, charity in the sense those who can afford to pay we expect them to and those who can't we will support them mm -hmm. so this is the kind of principle that we are going to be looking at. we have space for about uh, 24 okay uh, elderly and okay. it's in a beautiful location in karla very close to karla mat mm -hmm. about a kilometer and a half from where my house is very close to just opposite my house so mm -hmm. that my that's our uh, sort of <clears throat> my what you call return to the community yeah, yeah. and guru absolutely for indanasham swami ji glad to know that so, yeah absolutely So Uday Ma'am, thank you so much for joining on Amchi Legends. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, awesome to know. All the very best to your amazing projects. Most welcome. Are... Yeah, the Children's Hospital in Thane, and of course, uh, thank Parikh you, thank Shaya you, in Karla. And so good to have you, you know, as a part and a member of thank our you. community. Because so many of us, I'm sure your your what's your your WhatsApp and your mobile phones ringing always, and you're always there to pick the phone and help. Uh, and we've come yeah. so much in our in our you know experiences in our life. Thank you so much for joining on Amchi Legends. Thank you. Thank you so much. And also, of course, thank thanks you. to Samir uh, Haladi, who has been helping in the production of Amchi Legends. Yes, uh, Uday Ma'am, oh. you were saying something. Okay. No, I just said I just said thanks, and it was so nice talking to you after so many years. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye.